Hello folks and welcome back to another season of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, this time around we are going to be random mapping it again. Um, but I've already rolled for our town and hero. Um, so to tell you what that is, we're going to be playing as the Inferno this time. And our starting hero is Fiona. There she is, right up front. And we'll have a bit more of a look at Fiona once we get started. I'm going to be red because red goes really well with the background inside the town of the Inferno. Uh, makes it all look really good. Um, now, as for the settings, we're going to be uh, sticking to the highest difficulty. Uh, for the last campaign, we had six players doing a free-for-all. And it felt okay. Uh, I think though, instead of large, I'm going to try an extra large map and still keep six players. We're going to have underground on, islands on, normal monster strength, and um, yeah, I think we're ready to generate, so let's go ahead. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the Inferno. And yeah, I was going to say welcome to the fiery pits of hell, but uh, we are in the middle of a enchanted field uh, of greenery. Uh, yeah, so we've got this big ashen tower of evil, uh, which we are hopefully going to use to corrupt the land around us. If only the ash should have spread uh, progressively during the course of the game, but it, um, it doesn't. So, yeah, immediately looking around here, I can see we have a gold mine to the west, which is really amazing. We're going to want to get that bad boy online as soon as possible. A throng of goblins is tough. I don't know if we can beat a throng of goblins exactly, with certainly not with our starting army. But that's a pretty big priority. Um, I can see we have stone to the south. Uh, maybe we can get round to that this way. Come down here. And yeah, as for Fiona herself, let's have a look. So, Fiona is a demoniac, is the word I'm going to use to pronounce that. Um, now, what about you, Fiona? Fiona was a trainer of circus animals in eastern Arathia before the devils invaded. She quickly proved to them that her control over animals extended to the always temperamental hellhounds, and she was immediately accepted into the ranks of Eofol's armies as a result of that. So hellhounds are her special thing. She buffs their attack and defense once she levels up a bit. And then the other thing that this does, whenever there's a creature buff here for um, a, a hero of might, is it gives them plus one movement. Now he's actually getting plus two movement, you can see there's speed seven to nine, and that's because we have the Necklace of Swiftness as our starting artifact, which is an amazing starting artifact, that's really, really lucky. Um, yeah, and the imps are getting plus one, so the dogs get plus two. Alright, finally with Fiona she has Advanced Scouting, which, scouting's not a great skill, but in the extra large map, um, and at the beginning of the game, it's actually probably pretty handy. So I think with no money to speak of at the bottom, as you can see, we have nothing to do but gallop forth and investigate the countryside. And we can see a gem mine down here guarded by hobgoblins. We have gremlins guarding the crystal. Gems and crystal aren't a big deal to us. The real big payoff ones for us are going to be mercury and sulfur. Okay. Take this shortcut through here. I see sulfur. Hello, so let's go to the windmill first. Lots of goblins guarding sulfur, that's really good. Um, the thing that I really care about though more than anything at the moment is getting around to the stone. Okay, it looks like we can't get around to the stone. I'm going to assume that that's blocked off there. That's, that's the coast if we ever want to get off this stinking rock. Uh, we can jump in a boat here and sail away. Not that it's a stinking rock, it's actually a pretty good looking rock. We also revealed here lots of walking dead and past the lots of walking dead, lots of harpy hags. Okay, they're quite hard to get past, so we won't be going this way anytime soon. Um, so I think rather than get these resources now... Uh, I can maybe try to fight lots of goblins, but I might just play it safe and come back up here, see what's up around this way. Um, yeah, it's not a bad day one. Day two, come to here, tell me what you see. Ooh. 
Okay, a demon gate. That's a demon gate, like the that's a tier four creature for the inferno. That's really good. Guarded by lots of zombies. Don't think I can beat lots of zombies with eight dogs. We've got more hobgoblins. And it looks like that's wood, which is really nice. Tell me that that's our wood mine. It is. Okay. I can see the thingy there. Yeah. I don't even think we need to get the helm yet. We can just beeline our way up and get this mine online as quickly as possible. And I see... Take one more step, please. Lots of familiars guarding treasure. Treasure, treasure. That is going to be really important. We're going to go... Could I beat lots of familiars with eight dogs? I think I could give it a try. We also have a hero imprisoned to the west, guarded by a horde of null marauders. I think that's too hard. Um, so I want to gallop around and do this, but I really want to get the wood production started. So we'll do that. Grab one pile of wood on your way through. Eight wood is great. That's really good. Um... And I guess I'll get this one now as well. That was seven. All right, can I beat lots of familiars? Um, we might do the classic move here of just uh, creating a screening force. Imps and familiars are really, really good uh, to use in this way as um, because they're so cheap and useless in as a single as a single entity. I think we can win this fight. There's only 28 of them. Oh. I did all the waiting, but I'm the slowest. Well, I guess I'll just defend myself. I might come up here. And I will come to here. I'll stay put. Okay, so this obstacle in the middle is a bit annoying. Um, if he's standing here after killing them and he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this guy stands exactly here, I'm in trouble. But if this guy stands there, I can get back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Oh, maybe I can even get up there, actually. Alright, let's see. So, firstly, is this a kill? I don't actually know if this is a kill. Feels like pretty good, though. 8 versus 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're useless, mate. Alright. Now, you can't hit my dogs, but you can hit my main pack. Okay, that's not very good. Um, can't stop that from happening. I could go for a morale. And I could let the familiars hit me. Let's just do this and see what happens. I might be taking a hit on my 11, which is quite bad, not what I intended. Yeah, okay. We have to accept that. Um, just don't worry about it. You do this. Yeah, I messed that up. That should have been one or two. Um, never mind. Okay, uh, money. Oh yes, money, 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 money. More money. Yes! Beautiful. We definitely want to get this and do a lookout, but the first thing we want to do once we've saved up enough is Town Hall. Absolutely essential that you get that up early. Okay, distant lands. We have ocean to the north. A shipwreck. Little treasure chest, little sea chest. That's really cool. If you look closely, you can see the little chest bobbing up and down in the water. And we have also got neighbours. Okay, Tan is here. They've already flagged the shipyard. Don't know if that means they've sent a hero off sailing yet, but anything's possible. They've already got Altar of Fire up as well. And yeah, so that's their wood sawmill, and it's basically right next door to our base, blocked only by these guys. So these guys are kind of our allies for now. We don't want these to die. <laughs> we don't want to open this up until um, on our terms, ideally. But um, 
Okay, so if this is a conflux, altar of fire means that it's probably a conflux over here in the snow. Um, conflux could be good if we can conquer them quickly. Uh, just thinking about the late game, maybe we have phoenixes alongside our efreets and devils and things. Could be quite good. Um, right, Fiona, anyway, getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Uh, now, what are you going to do? Are you coming back? So I've got to kill these. And to do that, I feel like the best way to do that... In fact, the best way to attack a lot of these guys is going to be Gogs. Right? All these all these little piddly melee units, tier 1 units, hate Gogs. Zombies hate Gogs. Um, Walking Dead hate Gogs. Harpy Hags. Dwarves hate Gogs. These guys despise Gogs. The Harpy Hags don't, though. Gogs stink against Harpy Hags. Um, Cyclops don't care about Gogs either. Um, but everything else kind of does, so I'm minded to do that. To try to get to Gogs quickly. I don't have a Hall of Sins. Sometimes your starting thing gives you a Hall of Sins. And we can't build one because we need stone. And we have zero stone. And the stone's down here past where we've got to go, so that's not going to work. Um, so plan B, what else could we do? You can actually get the kennels. You can go straight to kennels without gogs. That might be the way to go with Fiona. Cages is just a grand after you've built the kennel. So we can build this up. And then on day one, come and get a big army of dogs and bring them to the goblins. Unlock this, go around the map with the dogs, sell the story around like a travelling salesman once I've flagged the stone. Um, yeah. I know I'm going to want these kennels at some point in the early game very, very quickly with Fiona. They come with five already. Uh, that'll cost me a grand to buy those five dogs. So do I want to come down and get whatever I can right now, which would be like 13 against a throng of goblins. See, the throng could be like 150 or something, or even 200. Which is pretty scary. So I don't think I can do it this week. I think I need to wait till next week. Fiona, then... What could she do? I didn't see this as well as a Mercury, which is really good for us. We want Mercury, and that's lots of goblins. So we beat lots of familiars pretty handily. Could we beat lots of goblins pretty handily? Get that Mercury... Because I've got a few days before... I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say we can beat these guys and we have time to do it. Now, these guys are movement 5. Movement 5 and we're movement 6 because of the necklace. So that's really, really good. Hopefully we can mess these guys around. What can eight doggies do? Um, you've walked into suicide range. Okay, that was nice of you. I'm just going to stay put. Um, let's reposition these guys a little bit. Come up here. Um, leave one poor fellow down the bottom. Let's do this. Let's hope that this is a kill. 14 familiars died, so... Ooh, you tough little sods. Um... Okay, now I'm thinking I just do this. Problem is if both of these guys come back around this way to help, I'll be a bit annoyed. Oh, that's very good. Well, morale's nice, isn't it? So if he waits now, and these guys come around here, I could hit them and then run away. So I might try that. And I'll just make these guys, a, I'll just dangle them out here a bit more, like, hey, you should come see me. OK, 
Okay, so let's see what they do. This isn't too bad. I don't think the top dog will die to these little hits. It's down to 15 already, man. So what if I do this? What if I hit him? Oh, why don't I get... Oh, I thought I had the right to act last, but if you... If you get a morale flash and you wait, that's not quite how the rules work. Apparently. So all I can really do is this. Okay, so we're back on serve. These two guys being stuck together like a blob is quite annoying though. So you wait. Wait here. Come here. I kind of want to split them up, right? Uh, come here. Uh, ideally, he comes after him and he goes after him. But they're both, well, they're not going to both walk this way, are they? One of them's going to come kill this. Who acts first? This guy acts last. This guy acts first. Yeah, so what if I sacrifice one? If I put an imp here, he'll come up and kill it. And leave this imp down here. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. You can have this imp. I'm going to give you this imp. Only your back guy can kill it. This guy then comes... This guy comes up this way. Maybe you need to sack him as well. If he if he walks up this way, it's kind of annoying. Yep. Yeah. So if I left him in the corner, we would have had them separated. Um, oh, what a nuisance. Okay. Bit of mucking around here. Sorry, everyone. Alright, get in there. I hope we don't lose a dog. I don't think we will. Oh! So the, here's the thing with these. See, damage 2 to 7. <laughs> that, so, yeah. The damage range, you can see the bottom is 24 to 84. So they're highly variable. And the th weird thing is that Bless is like the best spell you can cast on these because it causes maximum... It, it replaces 2 to 7 with just 7. But from a flavour point of view, I just don't want to be blessing my Inferno troops. So this, this happens to me usually when I play Inferno. It's like, I'd love to bless the dogs, but uh, it just doesn't feel right, you know? I can't see how I'm not attacking here, right? I'm definitely attacking. And yeah, I just rolled high. Okay, one Imp is not too bad. And we get the Mercury up, so that's actually really good. Um, that's actually really, really good. All right. Let's end the turn. Tan is boating. Labitha! Labitha is the hero I used, my main hero, in the Conflux campaign, which had just finished about uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I look forward to besting you in combat this time, Labitha. Hopefully. Things go according to plan, that is. I don't think we can do zombies, right? Lots of zombies is a completely different prospect. So let's gallop back. We know we're coming back to here. What are we building in town? We've got 1500 bucks to spend. I can't believe we would never want the cages. We're definitely going to want cages, so just build them. Don't have to think too hard about it. Oh. Okay, this is a problem. Can't beat Labitha. <laughs> so we're going to have to run for it. Um... Okay, that's annoying. Let's just see what she does, though. How can we do this? So, I have five dogs and 15 imps back at the base. That won't be enough, but next week's troops will be enough. She could kill the zombies for me and open this up. That would be quite nice. And then, while she's mucking around, I can come back up and beat her in combat. I 
Okay, uh, obviously I can't leave the helm out here. She could free the prisoner and take that with her, which is really annoying. Uh, so she's come, kind of stealing my lunch here, which is quite bad for us, really. What is Labutha going to do tomorrow? I think she probably could take our town tomorrow if she wanted to. So I think we do need to come down here and defend as best we can. Um, do I need ten more imps? Might just try and save my beans. Hide behind the fort, what can she do? She flies over with the... I don't think she does, right? And then she comes out, it's day six, so I can wait for day one and then gallop out and face her with tons of dogs. I think I have to stay at home though. I do have to stay at home, right? Because she could get me. She just stopped there? She just went boom and stopped. Yeah, so if I can fight you, you can definitely fight me. Um, this would be a massive win if we beat Labitha. It would be a huge, a huge hit to Tan and their development, and they're our main rival. Plus, we have a boat waiting for us. We could just send a hero out to vacuum up all the good stuff that we can already see from the observatory. So, this is kind of, this is kind of important. I just don't think we can beat her though. Can we fight the boat? We can't quite fight the boat. If she gets on the boat tomorrow. But if I dumped the imps, maybe we could? Yeah, okay, I'm going to waste a day. Cross my fingers. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, did that just happen? Oh, Labitha, what did you do? Oh no! That's hilarious! I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen the AI attack into a wandering monster group and die. Have I ever seen that in all my playing years? I don't know that I have. That's incredible, that's an amazing result for us because... She's turned a horde into a few, and I just get to walk in, free the hero, put the hero in the boat, go get the stuff. It's too good to be true. I don't even need to buy any troops. I can just go around and do this right now. Free the hero. Oh, that's incredible. 21 dogs against... What, say... Yeah, let's say it's 150 gobos. Might be tough. Let's see who the prisoner is first, I suppose. Should we buy these? Don't think so, right? The throng of gobos, it's that's just not gonna be good. We should wait for the pile to build up a bit more. Problem with them is they're just not great value for money. See if that was sulfur it would have been amazing. I gotta go free the hero and see what that's this is. Surely I should do that. My alternative is take be patient, come down here, definitely kill us lots of gobba, do that job. I could do this job as well. Get that cleared off. Could clear that off. Don't need to do this yet. Come back up, do this job while we're at it. A horde of gremlins could have some masters in it, which would be I don't have to do I don't have to get the crystal yet. Come back, get Cerberus's. Change my guys into Cerberuses. Come back up along here, free the hero. Like this, th th these assets aren't going anywhere. So which is more lucrative, getting a hero in the water quickly? Yeah, it's definitely better to come do this first, if I can beat the throng of goblins. That's the key question, without losing, like if I have to lose 10 dogs. Nah, let's, let's play it safe. We're in a like, Labitha has completely blundered uh, for us there. If this is sulfur, that might change my mind. 
No. Okay. So, no, we're doing this. We're just doing this. Oh, man, that was incredible. Do I have time to start investing in marketplaces and things like that? So, upgraded kennels. If we need to allow at least a grand or so to upgrade our dudes into Cerberus. Um, can I afford to start chipping away at these other necessary investments? I think I can. I could even buy a sulfur here. Oh, no, I don't need it now. Okay. Alright, this is a really good... Um, I, I cannot believe Libby. That was hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 16 hobgoblins in one pile. Right. And I'm faster than the normal gremlin, the gobbos? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So everyone waits. Yeah, I have it in my head for, for imps. Right. I think it's a trap to buy lots of imps early. Because they... They are pathetic and everything on the battle. Like, they can actually, when they attack in big numbers, they're actually not too bad in terms of damage dealing. Um, but per gold spent, they're, they're actually quite bad. It's okay to be garbage on the battlefield, but only if you cost nothing. And that's just not the case. Oh, they're coming down. Ooh, okay. I think I can still reach you. You're walking into range. That's just death, surely. I'd be very, very unlucky to not get a full kill here. Notwithstanding what we talked about before. And, um... Okay, let's stand here then. Kill these ones. Uh... Yeah, 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 let's just stand. Don't get morale. Don't, don't do that. Don't get morale. Ooh, nice one. Now only Fiona can give the dogs that range. And the Necklace of Swiftness. Oh man, what a combo. Cool, alright, Sulphur Online. I think we do this other stuff while we're here. Can either do this first and do that. There's stone? Ore, I mean? I could get uh, all these years. I thought it was stone, but it's actually ore. Uh, maybe we could build build the Gog place. Decide now in a second. Lots of hobgoblins this time. A little more ambitious, but we could take them, right? We have the movement. Yeah. What? Now you guys all just yeah, just defend yourselves. Yeah, morale. Whoosh. No. Okay, beautiful. Go hellhounds. Go Fiona. Do it. Wow. Oh. About time she leveled up, isn't it? Level up. When do I level up? I'm still level one. Okay, all right. Well, another 200 XP before that happens. Right, now we're cooking. All right, can I be bothered doing this? I think I can, because gogs would be amazing if it's five ore. On the other hand, do I have money? I can just quickly run around here and do this. I'll take an extra day to get this online. That's 1,000 bucks I'll be missing if I don't do it. I'll just let it go. Um, we're going to upgrade the kennels as soon as we have enough money. That's our next purchase. All right. Okay. All right. Well, they're recovering after the defeat of Labitha. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Kennels. Now... Ooh. How much do they cost to upgrade? So it's 500 bucks to upgrade. Oh, I have just barely not enough. What if I sell you some mercury? What do I need? 21. So I need 1100 bucks.
I have a Mercury Mercury Mine. So I'm okay with this. Ooh. All right, now let's see what. Uh, let's see who the who this prisoner is. We can do this as well. Get some demons on board. Oh man, the possibilities are endless. Once we get a second hero, uh, they can start throwing the army back and forth to one another. Oh, blue. Okay, blue's just exploring, getting some things done. That's tower. Tower hero, by the looks of it. Take this. Awed by the power of our forces, we do pursue because of the experience. Um, no, they're going to come down this stupid way. We go to here and then we walk over and kill them. Worth doing. It's going to be like 20 experience, but you got to squeeze every drop. 24. <laughs> it wasn't far off. Okay, here we go. In a dazzling display of daring, you break into the local jail and free the hero imprisoned there, who in return pledges loyalty to your cause. The hero is... Tiva. Ooh, look at Tiva. Hello. Tiva, 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 you are level 5. <laughs> Very nice. Level 5 will do nicely. Expert first aid. Basic archery. Archery. And an actually pretty good starting army as well. She has a spell book and she knows stone skin. Basic archery, not really massively relevant for the Inferno. And expert first aid is useless until I can find her a first aid tent. So even though she's level 5, I still think Fiona is the way to go. Scouting out on the water would be quite nice though, I must say. But I want to use Fiona to take on the Gobbos. Yeah, she's going to go do that now. Hmm. Right, so Tiva, give me your army. Um, have an imp. Give me your guys. Um... Yeah, these knolls are quite good. 15 knolls, that's actually pretty meaty. And... These dudes, we probably want to try to keep them alive up here. Lizard men. We'd like to body block with... Um, knolls. Maybe these imps. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Have it configured that way. I think a throng of gobos, this is going to be a good a good fight, but not necessarily a one where we have it all our own way. But it depends if a throng, like what's a throng? How big's a throng? Well, let's find out. Ah, oh, what was I worried about? This should be easy. This should be easy. Okay, then there aren't any even any hobgoblins. Um Okay, this should be easy. Like 21 Cerberi. That's pretty good. So we'll screen the lizard men off with um, these guys. We'll see what this guy wants to do. He wants to come with us. Oh, these guys have walked. Oh, I was going to say, I thought they'd walked into. Um... <laughs> yeah, that would have been very, very good, but never mind. Um. Stay where you are. Come up here. Get ready to screen. Right, Cerberi, do your thing. Thing is, I act first next round though, so I still get to hit them both both piles. Oh yeah. Um, redeploy. This is just a great alpha strike here, although, hmm, I'm worried that if, say, there's 12 left and they all hit me, they can deal one damage, 12 less in, the, in, in this pile, I mean, they could deal 12 
12 times 2, and I have health 25. I could lose a doggy here. But I came into the fight expecting to lose some troops. Yeah, what did I roll last time? Cerberi dealt 126. Okay. 126 is in the bottom of this range. So I'm going to take a chance. Hit both, hit both piles. Yeah, I did much more damage that time instead of leaving 12 behind. I left 4 behind. So same thing. Damage 2 to 7. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, you don't know whether you're going to um, cream them or not. The second fly is not really doing a hell of a lot for us. Okay, so I still haven't taken a hit from them yet. Um, yeah, let's just let's just end the fight. Let's just get it done. Oh. I think that was a min roll. I can do here. I can't help you. Don't lose a doggy. How much did they deal? I didn't see. Oh, maybe you guys saw how much damage they dealt. Anyway, we came close. 110 dead, but see, that could have been a stack of 180. You know, uh, a throng can sometimes be like up towards 200. And we really would have been, yeah, trading soldiers. Anyway, um, scouting and pathfinding, well we've got grass and water, there's a bit of snow around here, pathfinding could be good but it just feels bad to have both of these skills. <laughs> okay, so we don't want the dwarfs, obviously we're going to do this mine. Before I do it though, should I get Tifa to come down and grab the army and then she could take on the zombies? Get the demon gate open. Or should you get in the water, go sawmill, water. Problem is I didn't give her, I only gave her one imp. So if she runs into trouble out there on the waves, she, she might get sniped. How worried am I about that? I think I'm just going to take a chance. She's not, yeah, but she's never coming back. Let's do this. She's going to get in the boat, I think. But not until tomorrow. Fiona's going to go boom, boom, back to here. She's going to go boom. She can come out to here. Um, Tiva. Uh, Tiva should be able to run from here to the boat, don't you reckon? One more thing that I knew before. Um, yeah, I think she can run from that point to the boat. So I think that's okay. Back at home, we want to be starting to build towards our city hall and our hall of sins. Um, this doesn't cost ore. Man, such hilarity with Labitha there. I just... Sometimes the game giveth. Believe me, it taketh away as well, but sometimes it giveth. Oh, this could be a problem. He's getting a bit big for his boots, isn't he, over there? Not really. He's got to get past a horde of harpy hags. L uh, lots of harpy hags. A few nagas would do a good job of killing some harpy hags, though, wouldn't it? He does look... He does look... Mm, tougher than I would like him to look. Alright. Go with my blessing. Waste some of my movement, but I think it's worth it. The soldiers that I'm going to give you for your travels... I could give her the knolls. Do it like this. That gives her a lot more survivability. Um, just an, on the off chance that she gets sniped. And she's going to go out here. Her first thing, I'm actually going to go get this treasure, is the first thing I'm going to do. Leveraging the value of that observatory. 
get this money. And we want to come down here and do this. Lots of hobgoblins. Could just do this for experience. Oh, it's almost... It's almost cruel. Oh, you're not going to make the same mistake your fallen comrades did, are you? You are, you idiots. Just let him come and kill that one in. Okay. All right. It's a bit of a waste. Probably could have engineered that a little bit differently. Uh, yeah, give, him a, give him a taste of what for. What do these guys do? 33 to 49? Pretty good. Not necessary though. Wow! Alright, another imp bites the dust. Let's have a look at the map. Ooh, here we have the inferno. Is that water? huge amount into that. 2650 in the bank. What should I spend it on? I'm trying to get the city hall going. I need a mage guild, so we'll just bank the money, I think. Blue, don't be a hero. Literally. Right, it's this, right, surely. Oh... Oh, thank God! Oh, there's ten in that pile. Finally! We finally have ore. So, we're definitely building this before the week is out. Um, is there any question of not doing that and going for this into that? I think no, because we're ages away from City Hall. And there's no heroes nearby to benefit from the Mage Guild, so... We'll just build this, because we're, we're never going to want it. The Hall of Sins is finally up. Gogs are online. I, um... I did a recent video of tier listing all of the creatures in the whole game, where I talked about how crap Magogs are, uh, which is the upgrade to the basic Gog. Um... And... I got some feedback that I was wrong, that Magogs actually are... usable. They have this thing where they do a fireball attack, but your own troops die to the fireball if they're standing in under it. And I just had this rule. I always have just this rule. I do not play with Magogs for, for that reason, because too often they just can't shoot. Or if they do shoot, they you have to accept massive collateral damage. So I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to stick to that golden rule, but... I could also be persuaded to maybe change. I think with the shipwreck you have to be ready to fight. Um, which I'm not, obviously. <laughs> I just want that treasure chest. See, the wood you get out here is amazing. You get so... Like, these piles all have ten wood in them. Which is just so, so good. Um, now, should we be thinking about a third hero? too early? I want to bring Fiona up here, do this, this, some more stuff here. We want to build up our forces, our city hall, build up some competency before we unlock through here and try and challenge Tan. And then we've got Blue to our east, he's, our, he's another neighbour that we need to be prepared for. Yeah, I don't think it's quite time. Well, 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 we have a new contender. Ooh, the beef is back. <laughs> the beef is back. Um, I think I can beat this army, though. Get it. 
After spending hours trying to fish the chest out of the sea, you open it, only to find it empty. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, that does make me sad. Man, and if I had the expert scouting, you can see how much better that would be. We'd be looking all through this circumference here. Anyway. I think I have time to get these and gallop back, get this, this. Labitha could be... I could even combat her if she jumps in. Oh no, she can't land tomorrow, can she? All she can do tomorrow is jump in the boat. She should have jumped in the boat. Oh, the AI does that. It was weird seeing her stand just dumbly on the... Um, Wood earlier as well? She had she just galloped to there and stood there? Why not use the rest of your movement points? I don't quite get that. Anyway, let's come here, bring Fiona back in. We're up to six grand of savings, which is really great. Uh, day seven. So if worst comes to worst, tomorrow Labitha gets in her boat and literally sits there on the coast. Fiona gallops all the way up around to here, then Labitha lands, and then I go and reinforce. Labitha mucks around, I come back out and utterly destroy her. Which means I have time to build the Mage Guild today. I am going to invest in the Demon Gate. And then, um, that way I can be sure that if we have to fight a continental war here, with Labitha galloping around here, I have options, I have meat, you know, that I can call on. Um, she might sail off into the water here, who knows. Um, yeah, it's a whole turn she wasted getting in the boat. But she could land anywhere along here, right? And you see the impact of this gold mine already! Back up to 6k. Delightful. While I'm here, this is expensive. A thousand bucks. A tingle of magic fills the air in this school of mystical arts. An acolyte offers to sign you up for the next class for a grand. You'll have your choice of increasing knowledge or better power. Um, I'll take the power because she's got one power at the moment. She doesn't even own a spell book, but it's worth it. right? She can't learn cure for that same reason. We aren't going to unlock the Battle Dwarfs. Um, having said that, <laughs> it's tempting, isn't it? Like, we could actually... If we're investing in an army, we could come here, unlock the Battle Dwarfs fairly easily with kiting. Cerberus attack and return kind of thing. Although they have movement 5, maybe they won't be too slow and they might be on... Yeah. Uh, and then come in here and just what ask Tan the question. What do you want to do? I'm going to attack your. I'm going to attack your town. Um, could hire another hero to stand here. We could just have a supply line going this way. Um, that might be better than sending Fiona home. There's no mage guild there for her to learn anything. I think that's going to be pretty powerful, right? A second hero. St well, be our third hero anyway, in charge of the town, ferrying troops down, kill the battle dwarfs, open this up, threaten Tan with like existential threat. She might land and say, well if you take my town I'm going to take yours, but then I'm going to have the supply line, I'm going to have the road, I'm going to control the road, and I could use my secondary hero to come and fight Labitha. That seems pretty good. We still haven't got this yet which is annoying, but it's not as important as... Like, I could really step on Tan's throat here. Before I make that decision, let's go and... Let's go assailing. Oh, the wood! Okay. Yeah, let's see who we've got. Who's our hero on day one? Got all this big army to buy as well. Axis. Mysticism? Oh, come on, man. Mysticism? 
Your specialty is mysticism, really. How terrible is the hair? Look at the stats. One, one, two, one. And an and a, and a elementalist gets zero, zero, three, three. Oh, actually, no, well, that's fair, isn't it? Zero, zero, three, three, yeah. Okay. Is it just that... I guess I'm used to seeing threes. And not, like, all ones, but maybe it's not too bad. Oh, jeez. Axis, Axis, Axis. What am I going to do with you? Mysticism. Seriously, dude. And I don't even have a mage guild for you to learn anything. But having said that, your army is good. I would spend two and a half grand to buy them anyway, wouldn't I? The dogs would be 600, the gogs would be another 600. Yeah, so I'm, the Axis is really only costing me, say, a grand, and it's not like I have a better choice. I'm not going to take a non... Yeah, prayer is just, apart from anything, it's a fla massive flavour fail for me to hire Loinus, right? This holy cleric in the middle of the inferno, like, just... Yeah. Okay, so here's the proposition. We hire Axis, we spend whatever money we can afford to spend. We quickly gallop around and give Fiona the, the the soldiers. Fiona clears the dwarfs, flags this, maybe even kills Brissa. Threatens Tan with extinction. Labitha comes either lands here in desperation, or she lands down here, threatening to come around and take take us out, but then we just connect back up with Axis, Axis comes up here, brings the army up here and melees Labitha. What is wrong with that plan? And the answer is that I don't have enough money to do all the stuff I just said. Right, because these guys are going to cost 2k. So all I can afford to bring round to give um, Fiona are the dogs and say, what's a, what's a gog cost? 8 gogs. 8 gogs and 8 Cerberus. The other soldiers will have to stay at home. With 8 Gogs and 8 Cerberus, I'd go up to 29 Cerberus. And if I'm fighting a away campaign... By waiting, I get an extra 2 grand to spend on another 8 Gogs. And a demon... I can have like 4 demons. The thing with this game is you can't always get what you want and you have to kind of make do a lot of the time with what you have got. It's day one so I could hire whatever these fire elementals as well. But that would damage morale. Mm. So it's a toughie, I'm not sure what to do really. Are eight gogs worthwhile? I think eight gogs can do something in both fights, right? They probably die to the sprites, although I can screen with familiars. Okay, I think we're gonna do it. Just because the opportunity is too good to refuse. Axis, welcome to the inferno. Axis showed a natural aptitude for magic at a young age, which makes things even more strange than normal, as demons rarely show a natural aptitude for anything that requires thought. Ooh, 5% better mysticism. What the heck does that mean? So two points per day gets 5% better? So I earn two point... I earn 2.1 spell points per day. <laughs> How does that actually help? God knows. I, I don't know. Right, there's no sense in me buying these. I need these. And now I need these. Oh, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme the gogs. I think gogs are better than four demons. Yeah. Gimme the gogs. I'm going to give these forces to you, and you're going to have to take them off me. Learn Cure? What spell? Actually, do I know a spell? 
Wow. Protection from air. I'm sure I've never cast that one. No time to learn cure, I'm sorry. Access, no time to go to the windmills either, although that will be your job when you return. Fiona. Doof, doof. Ooh. Um. Like that? Something like that. Now I have two ranged units, lizard men and gogs. Um, one at each end. Seems okay. And a spare imp here. Serpent flies are kind of annoying, as you can see. Um, right. Can that army beat her army? Thing is, it's not going to have to. I can choose, right? If if I bring if I bring my army here, she has to re-land back here. I don't have to fight it. I can just gallop back this way. So it really puts Tan in a massive, massive hole. Can I beat lots of battle dwarfs with this army? Um, if I can't, so be it. Oh, thought we'd bugged out then. I thought maybe we might be crashing. Twenty nine is quite a lot. If any dog can do it, this dog can do it. Right? Alright, they're coming south. Fire! Not much good. Just get uh, our troops maneuvering around a little bit. I think I'm happy to shoot this time. And then maybe I, I'll walk with them next time? Just clear a bit of a path here. We're probably going to evacuate from this area. He, he, he moves to here. The gogs go one, two, three, four, five to here. And then he has one, two, three, four, five. He still can't get them. Uh, all my guys move. So the gogs and the lizard men. Okay have the same movement, but these guys move first, so I'm just going to move him there for now. It's annoying. Might get morale. Nope. And this would be quite a hilarious thing to do if they wanted to chase the serpent flies around. It'd be quite good. If he does get morale, one, two, three, four, five, he still can't reach the dogs. How is that possible that I can reach him and he can't reach me? I have movement ten, so he can have movement ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on, that's that's a square. Okay, we can both stand there. So I can, he can get to the dogs. Um, so for that reason, I will um, chump block here. Is we can't reach each other, but I'm not too worried about that. They wait, I wait, let's all wait. He's gone straight for the gogs, okay, that's cool. Alright. Oh. I do not want to lose a single gog. That will be an atrocious travesty. Get you out of the way. Oh, don't stand there. Doggy's got to go that way, so I'll stand here. Yeah, to fight this properly, you need... You need to arrange yourself around the terrain. Solid. OK, 
Okay, you skip a go. I can't really hedge against morale now, I don't think. Oh, hang on, no, he's moving. He's moving under there, that's right. Okay, so I'll protect the gogs up on this side. You protect them down under here. And then we'll move the knolls out of the way. Come here. This is fine. I just run around back here, uh, this way. If I find myself needing to. Yeah, just wait. Uh, you can shoot. You can wait. You can shoot. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, you poor, you poor old sods. Happy to stand here, I think, right? Poor old grey beards. Never had a chance. Can't get there, so I'm just going to go here. And let you have another turn. Yeah, if you get morale, you get morale. Okay. Should be in pretty good shape now. Um... Uh, they can, but it doesn't matter. Um, uh, no retaliation. Boom! All right, good game. 80 experience, not bad. Ooh. Resistance or leadership? Resistance is actually pretty good. Um, but so is leadership. Um, goes up to 15 when you're an expert, though. I'm going to take the resistance. Okay, so 10. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? I'm here! So she could come around and grab the new week's worth of fire elementals from here. But they are so disconnected. What can they do? Labitha has to land somewhere. I could just go do this. Do I want... I don't even want those fire elementals that much. So I think I just make for their town. <laughs> Lots of skellies. You haven't even done this yet? Altar of Thought. Oh man, the Altar of Thought is awesome. You can go there and think. Alright, Tan, what are you doing? The gauntlet has been slapped. What are you doing? Bad, bad idea. <laughs> make a huge, make the biggest army you can and send Labitha out into the void. Miles from your home and totally vulnerable. While Rossick does an absolute job out on the ocean for us. I make it that this conflux is available. Now, it might not be the easiest thing in the world to... I think I have to do this on the way. Or is that too decadent? Will I get punished? No. Okay, it looks like it's a fort with no citadel. So we just take the town right now, right? I cannot believe how badly Tan has played this. You, she, you saw me coming through here. You saw the size of my army. Why would you send Labitha off to in, into the ocean? What am I missing here? Oh, he does have a citadel. Okay, that's annoying. Well, it could be a while before we actually knock the walls down. We could take quite a lot of casualties here. Um, 
Yeah, 14 gogs are going to take quite a long time. Ooh, nice. Fine with this. That's absolutely acceptable. Um... I didn't think they'd do that. I thought they'd all just sit back. Ten damage would have been a very long day at the office. Okay, are you a moron? Why did you do that? Now I can just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But now the dogs just stand here and kill them. Or I could stand there and kill these. I think it's better to go for these, then, right? She flies down and kills a bunch of gogs, which is quite annoying. Whereas the dogs could just stand here, get hit for 7 by 535, lose a dog, but then retaliate. I think that might be better, actually, is to stand here, on the ramp. Get them dead. Um, wait with these. Have to lose a dog. Two. Yeah, this is better. Should have shot the um, other thing, doesn't matter. No, go for these. No, <laughs> the poor old impies. Finally croak at the hands of the tower. You're coming? Uh, so I could shield the doggies. Lose a serpent fly instead. Or lose both probably. I think that's a bit better than um, having them hit the dogs. Dogs and gogs. What happens when I walk out here? Will it close the gate? If it does, there's nothing I can do about it, because I'm blocking anyway, so... I'll do this, and who knows, he might be tempted to go and attack the gnolls. Six perish. Yeah, nice. Oh, can we finish it? experience, losses incurred, yes, but I just do not see how you are coming back from this. Of course there's a mage guild in here, and it has blind, oh yes, it has blind, it has lightning bolt, it even has ice bolt, it even has disguise, this is a great town, great mage guild, oh, so happy that we're going to learn blind. The spells in the game are divided into two categories, blind and everything else. But uh, not unless she has a spell book, which she now has. Ooh, that's juicy. That's really, really juicy. Labitha, i got to say, babe, I love you, but what are you doing out here with your army? Why did you do that? Now, we aren't going to have it all our own way, although there's another whole gold mine around there that we want to go get. Uh, we have to find out what's on the other side of there with some urgency. There could be another hero on the other side of there, like a tan hero. Got to say it seems unlikely, but it could be. Um, now, to defend this place, we could do this. Um, to defend against uh, Brissa coming back. Could do that. Send Fiona in here to just take a look through the portal. Make sure it's safe. Okay, and so we are back having conquered the Conflux here. 
um, later on in the same day in real life. Um, I think we are just going to leave the fortress guys here just to sort of hedge a little bit. They don't provide much value anyway. I don't think there's anything on the other side of this portal. I'm guessing there's nothing there, but it's essential that we check. Um, and this little hero here, Brissa, cannot do anything about it. Uh, doesn't matter where she goes, she could get in a boat and then we could just kill her, like she's kind of dead. Um, Labitha is a whole day away, she has to spend a day getting back to the coast. If she lands on the coast, I can go and hide behind the walls of the Conflux with the Citadel. It's just very, very hard for them now to come back. If Labitha lands here, I'll give the army to Axis and bring everything back. I suppose one interesting question is, could she land here today, or tomorrow, sorry? She'd have to absolutely fang it. So I'm going to gamble that she doesn't do that, uh, and bring Axis in through here to start flagging the things we need. We've got a mines here that we want to get flagged. So we'll start here. Axis. Uh, in terms of spending money, there's really no reason to, right? Um, we do have the stuff we need for a mage guild into City Hall, but it's... We just need to uh, maybe hold fire until we see what Labitha's going to do, which continent she's going to land on. I think that makes a bit more sense than um, the alternative, yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe we get punished here. What can Brissa do? Desperation! Oh my... Oh man. I was going to say, could Tan have played this worse? Having said that though, I was about to say that, and then I did say it, but the reason I wanted to stop myself is what else could Brissa do? She could get in a boat and at least force me up to the coast. Okay, Labitha is going to try to get revenge. Okay. So that's really interesting. She's coming down here to get revenge. So maybe Axis needs to go back to his previous position. I can get here, so let's say on my turn he gallops here, she gallops there, I then gallop round here, Fiona would need to be able to give me the army though, how much movement does he have, yeah he's only barely getting back home in two turns, okay yeah because that's because we used his full, two, his full movement across two days, right. Uh, so, it might be a good idea to give Axis the army. Have him stand here. Then if Labitha changes her mind and comes back here, I give the army back to Fiona again. It does mean we're a little bit pinned. So another alternative with our high income is to just grab a third hero. Um, for ferrying uh, troops around. I have issues with Loinus from a flavour point of view. Josephine... Not the most amazing alchemist. She's not great, really, is she? Um, I could hire her here, maybe. What if she was hired here in the Conflux instead? And her job is to stand here. Axis stands there. Fiona gets to go and explore a bit more. Seems right. I've got to go through the portal as a starting point anyway. Awesome scouting. Lots of gogs could die to me really quickly. Orange is here though. Or orange has been here. But they haven't gotten past the horde of non marauders that are here. Okay, that's interesting. So orange have come up with a really tiny hero. Flag the sulfur and run away again. We've got a horde of null marauders and lots of gogs. We want to get through and get that done, get the exploration done. I can beat a horde of null marauders now with blind. Um, lots of gogs will not be a problem either. I kind of feel like I need to press the advantage, so that means we probably will do that plan. Let's do some other stuff up here. We need to stay away from Labitha, obviously. 
Is that another little chest? Look at that. Oh, come on! Aw, oh, man. Alright, so Fiona wants to do stuff out here with her advantage. Hmm. Just remind me what Josephine comes with. One gremlin. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's do this. Alright, now we're, it's a completely different proposition if things get pear shaped. We have blind, we can do it twice, which is absolutely spectacular. 60, I can kill 10 of them with a lightning bolt as well. Uh, so, yeah, no, we're in very good shape now. Okay. Yeah, so now I feel like, hmm. If I just attack, attack. I feel like if I just attack, attack, that's very good. It might be worth checking if these guys can come to the rescue. Oh, they can't. They can. Okay, they are defending each other. It's quite annoying. When a Null attacks, it's gonna deal... Four, yeah, I think it's easy. I'm gonna lose a two dogs or I can run for it and hope that they don't get a morale flash so let's see I run they walk walk this guy morale won't help him this guy can morale his way into the gogs let's say they both fail then the gogs fire on him I just don't think that's very good. So I think it is probably worth spending some spell points here. 120 in that stack. Um, obviously blind is way better than lightning bolt. All these other things. I have gogs coming up. I'm going to do one blind here. That will allow me to... Um, Save one blind for the gogs. I think this is okay. This may be a little decadent. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd lost a puppy there. Once you've blinded someone, you can't shoot them. That would be too good. Oh dear. Basic air magic makes lightning bolt better. Not sure about air magic. Uh, I think I might get off of it again later, so we'll just go with what we've got for now. There's a lot of value in... Uh, ooh! Oh my goodness. Is this run just... Can I get... I can just... Uh, but... We, uh, I can just take this town off Orange? How many towns does Orange have? Can we figure that out? That's their only town. Well... No, hang on. I have two towns. Tan has zero. So that's Orange's only town. Oh man, this, 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 this. <laughs> so when I said islands, I didn't think it would be this islandy. Like, this is insane, right? It's like we've got a tiny bit of landmass that six of us are fighting over. We're all next door to each other. Blue's next door to me, over here, on my, is my other neighbour. This could be over so quickly. I mean, for someone, if, whether it's us or not, but... How do I not just waltz in here? It looks like it's a citadel too, it's got the same symbol there. Just walk in and take it.
Okay. Oh, there was a hero down there. Tazar? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a citadel. And she's she isn't out of moves. If she if we wanted to if we chick if we wanted to chicken out, we could chicken out and run for it. But Tazar will probably attack us. I think behind the citadel walls. Tazar needs a lot of help. He could gallop past us and go and try and get the conflux, maybe? That would be bad. How developed is this town? Well, pretty well developed, as you can see here. What have we got? I can't believe I was allowed to just walk in there. Is this the power of scouting? The drama. I love that music. She's learnt bloodlust and slow and haste. There it is. It's my favourite music in the whole game, I think. Just listen to that. Drama! And it comes down again. Gorgeous. I think this army I've got here, maybe I could buy these dudes, wins against this. I don't need to build a castle here. Right. If Tazar gallops up through here to try and take the Conflux, which, by the way, he might not even know exists here, right. Um, I can just hedge that off by buying these idiots. <laughs> One of my most hated units, but what if I just bought these ones? I mean, it's not enough, is it? It's not gonna... It might be enough. Well, several wyverns will chew through that pretty, pretty quickly. But let's say he conquers it. He's gonna take losses, and then right behind him is gonna be Fiona. Yeah. I cannot believe that that happened. Right, let's um, let's try and defend this. Um, we want the little units on this side, right? Something like that. Dogs versus wyverns and the citadel tower. I mean, I'm very all in on this. I do have a blind up my sleeve as well. If I was to blind the, I don't know, maybe the serpent flies. Okay, and we'll execute the rest of the plan now as well, because we still have to worry about Labitha. So Tan and Orange are basically being crushed underneath my foot at such an early stage, like it's so rare. I need to get a little bit of cash flow sorted so that I can get her. Speed 4, speed 4, speed 4, speed 5. How much does he cost? 350 bucks. How much to get 350? 
Okay. Get rid of the gremlin. Josephine has a spell book? If she hasn't, I'm not buying her one because I've run out of money. Okay. Now, so Fiona is ready to gallop back with the army. Josephine's ready to receive it. Um, by definition, I can definitely get back into the conflux to defend it. I'm not going to need to, though, right, for, from Labitha? And Josephine, if she's here, can she get to Axis? If she's there, probably not. So I think she needs to stand here-ish. I really want to flag these things, but once Tan and Orange are dead, if we manage to kill two this quickly in week three, Although it's a very unusual map, you have to say, so far, with everyone being on top of each other, everyone's like everyone's neighbour. It's almost like playing on a small map. Uh, the dynamic is, is, is so much different. Anyway, I think I'm happy with this layout here, right? I've got no money left. Tazar, what do you got, pal? Okay, there's Labitha. Tazar runs off. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away by this. So I can get access to the army now. Do that today. I have six grand, so on her way back, Fiona could pop in to the um, complex and pick up the nothing that's here. So that's re irrelevant. Analysis, let's do this eat first. And there's so much wood. Vacuuming it up. Okay. Um, can't have my cake and eat it. Um, if we kill Labitha, we have to leave the fortress untended. Um, hmm. You can't exterminate two at once on week three. That was too... I mean, that's just way too optimistic, right? But here's a question. What if Axis ran round here, just bought this army? For five grand. Eight demons, eight gogs, and 45 imps versus all this stuff. Now, Labitha can't cast Teleport with expert precision... She's not going to be have expert ballistics, is she? So it's basically just sprites and pixies. Oh, hang on, I don't have a citadel though. It's still just a fort. I mean, let's just do that, and we could even sell. We could do some really bad market trading. <laughs> it might not even be that bad. Do I have a market here? There's a market here. So what do I get? I get a hundred bucks per thing. If I just sell out of everything, right? And then in the Inferno... Build a Citadel. Buy all the stuff that's here. Brimstone Storm Clouds. Axis will be here. Axis doesn't know any good spells though. But he has 1-1. One, one. So I could keep Axis alive and just run away. The problem with that then is that Labitha can start flagging things and being annoying. But do I care?
that would be annoying an extra four demons if she had that but that gives if you got if she goes and does this she doesn't have time to come down and do this plus she might not have scouted this area yet yeah I'm definitely doing this could have learnt cure on my way past that was maybe a mistake no it wasn't <laughs> okay so here's the plan Citadel right we need to generate what was that number? Five and a half K? So we're gonna sell, sell, sell. Everything must go. Start with Mercury. Five, three. What did we what do we need? That's enough. Buy the lot. Buy the lot. time I've ever been this lucky this early. I think Fiona just has to stay there, right? Because I still don't really want to fight Tazar in the open, and I have no other money to spend. But that's fine. <laughs> like, I'm sacrificing move, moving and exploring in exchange for a whole extra third town. And that means Josephine does have time. do this. Oh, look at her movement disappear. That's terrible. That maybe was a mistake. I don't need the gems, but we'll see. Okay. Labitha, what do you want to do, babe? Okay. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Right off the cuff, they take a hit. Oh, okay. They didn't kill that many. spells, but never mind. Um, so I could defend... So I've obviously got defense for the Gogs. Is there a way I can defend the... these idiots? Yeah. This is going to be an extremely cheeky victory if it ends up being a victory, I must say. Um, bring him into range. Yep. Magic arrow. Okay, that's good. That's... she is... Ah, oh, it's a waste. Four sprites! That's an opening. Eight of these. Um, there's eight, is there? Well, the demon's gonna kill them. Or I could do it. So do this looks like it will hurt them when they walk on it, right? Am I wrong? Okay, so that, that there is a, a, a wall breach here. But I'm minded to try to fill it with my useless guys. Yep. 
I think I'll start with this guy. Keep working on him. Oh man, it's going to be tight. Okay, that did nothing. It all depends on the... Uh, can you move in and attack me here? Um, should we all work on this? Yes, okay. I'm gonna run out of shots. And I got eight shots left. Okay, the wall is still there. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, I don't know what that means. For some reason, they haven't stepped onto there yet. So I guess I'll stand there. This might have been just too, a bit too ambitious. They can't walk on it. Why aren't they walking on it? I thought they could walk on it, take damage and then attack and then they get to walk off I can't remember how it works if you walk onto the lava you take damage and lose your turn you can't attack is that right I should look that up anyway I'm just defending I'm not doing anything just keep working these over should I start on these now it seems right to gang up on the one that the tower is going for Come on, what can you do? Okay, that's now open. There's a breach there too. They're not going for it though, are they? They're just standing. I can stand on here. Why would I want to do that? I don't want to do that. How many of you are there? Four. Will we start working on this big pile? See, this this is a great thing. The tower never runs out of juice. Ah! Okay, they finally got the gate open. And then we'll stand behind you guys with... Yeah, the fire elementals can't get past. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. We'll stand behind you. To make it take longer. No, I can't use you though. Yeah, right, you come to here. You come to here. You do this. You come. Well, let's say he kills that. The problem is the arrow tower kills this on turn one, so you want the fire to come here, take his spot, kill one of these idiots. Um. Yeah, speed six. So he's gonna be staying there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He actually can't get to the gogs, but he can. He can get. To that square. So another thing I could do is begin moving the imps down to this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can't attack either corner. So I think this is the right idea here. This guy runs for it. Air elemental dies to the tower. Fire elemental kills one of those two morons. Crap, I thought we were losing the tower then for a second. Uh, the point is that once this is open and available, well, I could actually just get stuck in, couldn't I? Like, I could use this guy to take the retaliation. This guy this guy here, this one imp can take the retaliation for me now. 
demon waits. These guys both wait. This guy then takes a retaliation. These guys both stand there and swing at the fire elementals. A demon is basically the same as a fire elemental. 35, 4 to 6. Oh no, 35, 7 to 9. The demon's way stronger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is right. Wait, wait here. Take the retaliation. Definitely do this. Great. Go again. You cop this from the imps. <laughs> Come on, my little impy boys. Ooh! Two fire ellies! I like to think this is a different Labitha than the one that uh, was so amazing in the last campaign. I like to think this is a long lost cousin who. Oh, surely they've got me now. Okay, so that's that. Five imps perish, but it's too late. So the fire ellies had their go, right? So if I wait around and let these two have their turn, that's much, much better than letting them wander up to me. How am I still got ammo? I've still got ammo. No, I'm out of ammo now. Okay. Uh, now it's the imp's turn. On the next turn, I get to move before these, so I'm just going to run away. The other thing I could actually do is, and this feels weird to say, with movement 6, being the fastest guy here, I could walk up to here, attack them, and then run away. And that seems pretty good. Yeah. That's just excellent. I mean, I'm just being a little bit, a little bit cute now. It doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four. Yeah. She can't catch me. Oh, yes, yeah, she can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No, she can't. Um. Oh man, Labitha's yeah in desperation mode now. She's not even fleeing, which means Tan is dead now. That's basically what that means. One, two, three, four. Worst fifth level unit in the game by far. The Earth Elemental. Utter rubbish. He can't even get morale. gonna hurt. I'm probably gonna lose another demon here, but I can't think of a better way to do this. Don't really want to lose tons of imps. Yeah, this will hurt a bit. Oh, one HP left! Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? I don't really want to lose that last demon, so I am actually going to run with them. Let's let him do that. Three more imps go down. Gog has 13 HP to spare. This might not matter now, right? Unbelievable. Okay, so we got a little bit lucky. I feel like they were supposed to walk on the lava and then infiltrate, but they didn't. So, um, that is a good victory. Ooh, Estates is great. Free money? Yeah, I'll take free money. Man, week three, I didn't expect this. Okay, what can you do? What can you do? You can... <laughs> I didn't think... I didn't think that would be Tazar, just sailing off into the sunset like Labitha did. Um, okay, man. Alright. Wow. I uh, can't believe where we're at. Like, this is incredible. We've basically vanquished two of them. Oh.
What is this here? Is that a hero? Is that the edge of an inferno hero? It's not, is it? See how she's got her bridle there? I'm going to worry about what that is. Right. Going pretty well, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with this. A lot has fallen into our lap, though. You would have to say a lot has fallen straight into our lap. Yeah, with all of this incredible good fortune in mind, I think we'll pause here to reflect on what the heck we do next. Tazar is in the water. I can't be completely ignorant of him. Um, but we've now got three towns unexpectedly instead of one. And uh, we have a blue neighbour that's ready to be conquered as well. Why not? Um, so yeah, fair bit to think about. We'll leave there on Fiona uh, at the fortress. Um, yeah. It doesn't always go this well, really. It really honestly doesn't. So um, anyway, we'll take the good luck when it's coming. I think this is an enemy hero here that we need to sadly deal with. We can't ignore. Um, so the best way I think to do that is to leave a bunch of annoying defenders here. And we're actually going to gallop Fiona around here with her expert scouting. Scouting has been an absolute... I should just say this before we move on. Scouting has been amazing. She started with advanced scouting. And there's just been so many days and turns where we've seen things that we wouldn't have seen and changed our decision making as a result uh, of that. What's happening right now is a classic example again of that. I normally have no idea that there is a, uh, a hero standing there, um, but because we have the expert scouting, I have that information, and yeah, the, the, the power of information here is um, is really quite amazing. It's a purple hero, <laughs> oh my goodness. Purple is here. Lots of royal griffins are quite scary. And we may not be able to hold against that. She has... Okay, so Fiona spent the night in the fortress, and as a result, she can cast blind three times. Pyre is a fellow infernal hero. Wow, okay, we're going to need to make a decision about whether we attack. I can't actually attack her, so that's that idea out the window. She is bringing castle troops over this terrain here, so I don't think she can get round and assault the fortress next turn. We also have the possibility of Tazar landing on the shores here. I think I can win against either of these armies, but I'd much prefer to be behind the walls of the fortress to do that. So there's a couple of things going on we need to think about. We need to be very concerned about one of them popping through this portal uh, and going to the conflux. We're really just trying to hold desperately uh, now until day one both of our new towns. Remember the conflux is literally <laughs> this it's like you can imagine the conflux is here. That's how close we are it, it is to the to the portal on this side. Uh, and it's currently being defended by, you'd have to say, a not very good army. So we have some really tough decisions to make here with Fiona. It's possible to to blunder here, accidentally allow Pi to walk in and take this. Okay. So I feel like what we're going to want to do is bring soldiers from the Inferno, where we have uh, Axis has at least some soldiers he can bring. Uh, he can get moving right now. We don't have time to do any of these other things. Get as many soldiers over here as we can. Get Josephine ready to receive that army. Uh, and then we'll try and consolidate and form a daisy chain of defence between the fortress and the conflux. And hope that we can defend against these two interlopers. Okay, so before Axis sets off, um, would you like to build anything? Um, the hellhole would give us like three pit fiends I think it might be to take with us which doesn't seem amazing we could upgrade our uh, demons into horn demons um, that doesn't seem very good either maybe um, Tiva out on the water we should explore her options first
Blue is here? That's the same guy we saw earlier. Grindon. He's been getting around. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, maybe just do a bit of recon along the coast here. We need to make very sure. Wow, another gold mine. The place is riddled with gold mines. Sensing that blue might be our main uh, rival. Stay off the coast. Okay, useful intel. Josephine's stuck down here. We know uh, she's coming back. Um, let's see. Access will get to there. Um, what might be nice is to leave Axis enough troops just to go around and sort out the things that need sorting. Like, we need to sort this out. I really want to get this dwelling up. And we need to kill them. So what if Axis, kill, Axis kills them? I'm actually not sure I can. If that's Master Gremlins, I could take, might take too many casualties doing that. I think he can maybe beat lots of zombies. Do that, do that. He'll end up about here at the end of the day. At the end of today. And then he comes galloping up to here. Josephine will be standing here waiting for him. Well, I guess let's do that first, right? Before we... Do we have time? The problem is, if we leave now, the army's just sitting in the middle... There's no threat to the Inferno anymore. Because um, if I kill these, I could hire some demons and add them to the to the stack. I think we do still have to leave this because if there are Master Gremlins here, my troops are slow, and I know I don't have any magic arrows or anything, so it seems silly and kind of weak to not uh, do this. Axa still hasn't done these jobs either at the windmill. Um, how do I feel about this? Lots of zombies against seven demons and gogs. We are going to have to be a bit creative even in this fight. Cure doesn't help me. There's no point learning it. I think this is okay. I'd rather save our money and spend it on um, something else. Just wait with everyone here. Twelve shots should be enough uh, to make life interesting. We can kind of abuse this lake that's in the middle here. Um, if we get the order of things right. So if he waits, this guy can move. Yeah, we don't have Necklace of Swiftness. We don't have so many things. It's so easy to just fall into the trap of thinking, oh, yeah. So we put one guy here. Uh, we put... Another guy behind him. Put them there. Yeah, so let's... Oh, I have to use you next? Okay. I think we're going to try and protect the imps. Um... And... I don't really want him beelining up there. I think you can just do nothing. Make your way up here. And we're going to get ready to use these guys. So we're kind of trying to maximise the um, number of shots we get off. Um, of course, one great thing about fighting undead is you don't need to worry about morale flashes. Kill one, thank you. Okay. Okay, they are both heading up this way. Um, that's a tad disappointing. Right. And... Maybe just go here.
making his way over there. Um, so I'm tempted to actually do a little <laughs> conga line here. I <laughs> Who moves after you? So you go in there, then you, then you. Yeah, so they move in order. I could do a little conga line. And that just completely frustrates him. Um, I'm going to do that. That's kind of cheeky. Uh, I don't have to engage these. I could wait another turn before engaging them. Uh, they still can't reach the big pile of imps, so we'll do that. Yeah. Obviously that will change. Come back to here. Bit of mucking around here. Um, probably seems like I'm being overly silly. Slash cautious, slash whatever. Um, defend yourself, dear impy boy. I guess it's these guys we want to soften up now. The zombies dece. Zombies are dece. Uh, I can't get back. The demons can't either. Uh, so now I'm thinking we should pile in. Maybe we should bring a guy. Can you attack him? Yeah. So let's use him to attack uh, and take the retaliation. Oh, okay. I can't do that because we've all waited. Okay. Probably made a mistake there. Um, I, I'm obviously not attacking. So the demons could come here, attack, and then walk here and attack, and then these guys could fill that square. What's what's a nuisance is the imps are fast at uh, faster than the demons. Next turn, these imps go first, which I really don't want. So I don't love this, but I think we do have to attack a little bit earlier than we wanted to. That's not great, especially if they get diseased. Does. Yeah, we are just going to have to go for it, I'm afraid. Kill a couple here. Yeah, we're taking losses. This isn't quite how we wanted it to go. Oh, come on. turn. That's actually not bad. Oh. Right. Um. Mm. He walks up here, kills, but I can't get to him. I can come down here and give, make an escape route for the gogs, though. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um. You do this. We all run. Maybe the sickness, I can get the sickness to wear off, maybe. Maybe come out this way and convince him to chase me. No, one, two, three, four, he can catch the gogs, okay. Done. Yeah, he acts before the gogs, that's just an unlucky turn of events. Um, don't know what to do. I might have to waste a demon here, like let one die. Mm, one, two, where can I come? I can come back to... Ugh. I could let him hit the gogs, actually. 
How crazy is that idea? Okay, this is regrettable. Uh, I wish the gogs were acting before him, but they aren't, so... And we can't fight on that square, or otherwise we won't be able to leverage the benefit of our numbers. Now, the demons haven't acted yet, and we don't want them getting retaliated against. So if I go up here and commit suicide, this burns up the retaliation. The zombies then walk down, have a go at my imps. Sad face. I don't think he bothers with the demon, or maybe he does if he thinks he can kill one. No. Yeah. Oh, I've lost eight. So I think it's fair to say I've lost at least eight more than I wanted to, and I think fought properly, if you were to refight it properly, um, it should be possible to do this uh, without such heinous losses. This is one of the reasons why having high speed in your ranged units matters. If I was movement 5, I would have... the zombies would be in much worse shape, but even lose two more on top of that, that's just embarrassing. 21 is a ter... that's terrible. That is absolutely shocking. Um, I feel really bad about that. Um, right. Basic earth magic or wisdom for this fellow. Given that the Conflux um, Mage Guild doesn't have a lot of earth, I mean, they're slow, right? Uh, but there's haste, lightning bolt, ice bolt, that kind of thing. I'm going to hold fire. Um, that may be a bit precious of me. Let's do this. Yes, I would. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Might as well get this. How far? Okay, so here's the thing I wanted to find out. How far can he go as it stands? He can just get to that square barely if he doesn't get the crystal. Okay, but I want the crystal. So give me the crystal. And I'm going to get to there. That's my destination. Still not learning cure. I have no time for, for this. Anyway, what did I say he's going to? Uh, here. Okay, so Josephine, come f this way. That's worked out pretty well. Now, we have to make a decision about where to position Fiona. It all depends on whether we think Pyre can get round here and do this gig, if she has scouted and knows the route round. Um, I can only just barely not get to Pyre, so I should probably plan for the possibility that she has basic logistics or something like that. How sad would I be if she went here, got a f face full of Arrow Tower? I don't know, it might not even be that sad. I don't really want to fight her in the open, particularly though. I'd rather wait till next week. So I'm happy to just turtle. I would normally say turtling is not what you want to do in this game at all. But in our specific situation, I think it's actually a really good idea. Um, the Conflux is not under threat. I'm going to assume she can't get to the Conflux today. Um, so we can bank our money and then make an investment decision in terms of defence. Um, these guys are waiting. They're actually not bad for defending against a siege. But I kind of feel like the right investment would be to build a castle. 10, 10 and 5k. So we have enough money to build one castle. Um, if we have to defend another siege like we did with the Inferno before. So I think this is okay. Let's see what purple and orange do. Cross our fingers. Right, blue are getting ready to break through those harpies. We're, we've been very lucky so far. Tazar doesn't know what to do. Neither of them do. Incredible. Meanwhile, look at our bank account. We had six grand yesterday. We've got 11 something. <laughs> uh, and this is where, if you've got this level of, of advantage, you can just turtle six grand a day we are printing, people. Six grand a day. That's really good. Now, of course, I desperately want to do this, but do I have time? She probably does have time now, right? So Tazar's gone away. Uh, Pyre has run to the corner here. We're not sure how she got here. Um, so if she comes back into the thing, he comes and lands, I just gallop back to the town after I've done this job. It seems fine, right? Okay, so we'll do the easy stuff first. Good old rule of thumb. 
Okay, so we could be a nuisance to blue here if we wanted to, but it wouldn't take them long to... Oh, that gives you morale, I think that... I think we want to hug the coast though, right? Green is here, challenging. Coronius. So there's six factions at the beginning, two of them are on their knees. One of them's dead, Tan is dead, Orange is on its knees. Okay, so we still have a good game ahead of us. Green, blue in particular looks pretty strong. Um, the value of this Tiva being out on the water is just, is just, just great. I'd like to get another hero actually out down here now. So we should probably keep an eye out for anyone with navigation. Um, first aid, still prayer with Loinus. Loinus is actually fantastic, and prayer would be great <laughs> with our army and our strategy. But flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Just doesn't doesn't gel. I think we still want to do this, right? We don't want to rest on our laurels and assume that Fiona can do all the work on her own. Um, next week's troops. Thirteen of these. I'm getting thirteen of these. I'm getting twelve of these. Only three wyverns. I actually thought wyvern growth was a bit stronger than that. Three. Oh, we're on a citadel, that's why. Okay. Okay, so we're not getting a huge shot in the arm, creatures-wise, here at Hermit Cove on day one. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to rationalise getting her the demons and gogs just to... kind of stamp our authority on that region. And that that makes more sense than, you know, I, I don't want the Harpy Hags to die unless they already have. Oh, they already have! Okay, we've been living on borrowed time. Blue already has removed the Harpy Hags and can walk through here anytime they want. <laughs> so we might be in a situation where we do need to split our forces. Um, and Turtle. We need to defend against blue. We do not want to provoke blue uh, until probably at least another week has passed after this next week. Stay in the area axis, you know, and just build up. Stop exploring and just turtle. Feels weird to do that. We don't find ourselves wanting to do that very often. Um, Josephine, I'd love more mercury, and I'd love to get all this... And there's no... Who are the heroes again? Gem. Terrible. Gem's no good. So, given that the Harpies are gone, I, I do want to hedge against this possibility here. I feel like Fiona does have enough resources to turtle and protect the new area. Okay, so I actually think Fiona is the easier question. I think she has time to do this job. Um, go back in here, do that thing again, right, leave them there just in case, go get this, come around get this, and then just go back and turtle as needed. Um, fancy a blind? I think I can spare a blind because it's almost overwhelmingly likely that I will be um, going back to the Mage Guild and spending the night and stuff. So, yeah, it's just easier than losing, like I lose two dogs or something. Um, I won't bother with these. Wake up. Alright, so when they attack back, they're gonna deal three. So I am gonna lose some dogs here. Am I just gonna be a spam bot and blind again? Yeah. No, no, wait, get the order right, hang on. You guys shoot first, and then we'll do it. Just burning my mana. 
it's just really not necessary to um, lose any dogs. I really want to avoid losing any dogs. I think we will avoid it now. You might as well do this. Yeah. Okay, burning spell points, but kind of who cares? You're in a boat. You're still. If it'd be different if he'd landed, I'd be in all kinds of different trouble. Um. But while you're in the boat, I'm safe as a house. And if purple comes back around here, well, maybe purple could bash through here and come and take my town off me. But you've got to survive that fight against the citadel. So I think that's good. Um, in terms of investment. Yeah, I think we've concluded Axis doesn't have the luxury of coming back. Um, and we are splitting our forces. Um, with that said, we'd love to unlock this and that. And a good way to do that is using the army I've got. Gives them something to do. We'll worry about Crystal another time. Day six, I don't have the luxury of just waiting around. Who's going to come down under here and do this job? Um, I'd like him to get the XP. But I don't want to waste a lot of time, so I think I'm going to let Josephine do it. I mean, it's not amazing, right? Sorry, hang on. That's not what I meant. I want to do this. Um, he wrecks morale. <laughs> I'm really regretting buying him because I even spent Mercury to buy him. And now I feel kind of stupid. Um, he does nothing, right? He's just he's useless. Um... Oh, I've missed this Boots of Speed. I meant to react when I saw the Boots of Speed. I saw them, and but I was my mind was racing. And went, oh, these are really, really good, these Boots of Speed. Um, and they really help, uh, like, a lot. So, can I have them too? I think it's worth wasting another point of movement to get them. Lots of Skellies will die. Yeah, this, this could work okay as a tag team. She get, gallops back up and gives him the army. She knows even some spells. That's actually quite nice, look at that. It's because we hired her in the Conflux, where they had done a bit of work for us. So that's very nice. Um, okay, let's just uh, let him start walking. Um, So, might I need a um, helping hand from a lightning bolt or two? 63, 52. Kills 10, a lightning bolt. I don't know for sure. I have troglodytes after this, which feels like they'll be easier. can get to the gogs now. I guess I'll just pile in now. Whoa, massive damage. I didn't think that would be that uh, powerful. Okay, she can't do that. Alright, uh, last decision to make before we hang up the uh, boots is investment. I think we could justify now getting to a capital. And we have to decide where our capital is. All three towns feel a little bit vulnerable. Um, so on that basis, maybe we'll just build towards the city hall here as a starting point. Feels kind of more thematic if we get uh, our capital in the Inferno, given that we're supposed to be an Inferno town. But we'll build the Mage Guild. It's all Earth stuff, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't want to spend mega bucks though. Uh, I've got a lot of creatures to buy next week potentially, and we don't want to build a castle until. Well, it's a big investment, so 
happy to build one, but I, I want to see which castle it needs to be out of which which of, the, uh, of our towns it needs to be in. Final thought is just on um, the hiring of another hero. Um, which we could do. It's just that it's Gem or Loinus, neither of whom I really want. We're going to need to get down into this gate and have a look down here to make sure the coast is clear down here as well, so... Maybe just bank that money for another day. Whoa. Oh, I thought we were losing our explorer, but no. Oh, good. Just not quite enough movement points to catch me. Green, uh, green has been defeated by blue, I think. And that means there's only three of us left, if you don't count orange. There's purple, blue, and green, and that's it. So, week end of week three, and three factions are already dead. This is a very, very strange uh, map. I think if I start my next campaign on an extra large, I'm not going to choose islands. I'll go back to normal. I don't know if maybe that's caused it to... Yeah, I kind of need to run directly away and hope that Gerd finds something else to do with her life rather than chase me. I might just land and see what happens. Um, Tiva, if she gets defeated in combat, that's an acceptable uh, thing. That's not something we want to see happen, but not something that's terrible. I'm trying to remember if they have any. I'm gonna try. Okay, so now you know things. <laughs> now you have knowledge. Could bring these. Um, don't want troops from three alignments. Yeah, okay, so I can go there. Josephine can give me the army, only barely. <laughs> so, wing in a prayer. Wouldn't have it any other way, of course. Um, no. That's what I meant there. Put the gogs here. Between this and the spells, I know. Can I do this? Can I take these guys out? Day seven's the best possible day to do that. Several psychic elementals is going to be too hard. So, no, is my answer. I think I could beat lots of dwarfs and that we should be trying to do that next. Uh, so these two are kind of working as a, as a team to go around unlocking things. Um, yeah, Josephine can come around and do this and this. I guess do that one first. Right, Fiona... We didn't see purple, we didn't see Pyre come back. It is day seven and I'm low on spell points. Can I do this and get back in time? It's probably just misses. So I'm gonna play it safe. I'd rather have the blind spell points and I don't wanna spend a whole extra day. So yeah. We're up to 17 grand now. Oh, just printing money with these three three towns, three city halls, what, what have you. Is this too decadent? I am going to wait a day. I'm not going to do the maths, but I'm going to wait a day rather than building the city hall uh, just to see how financially um, secure we are. I know that's really... I'm throwing a thousand bucks away by not doing that. Okay, change my mind. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I've just got to be careful here with Fiona. Okay, this is annoying. I've got to keep doing this every time, but that's that. I might uh, buy a first aid tent, just while I remember, because someone I know likes first aid.
pretty nice. Um, yeah, a bit conservative, but I'm glad we unlocked this this gold mine. It's already it already feels like it's making us happy. Here, yeah, blue is going to be knocking on our door soon. We are, the, the game feels like it's been quite lucky and easy for us so far, but I sense that there's some major yeah. There's some major conflict brewing with purple and blue, so we still have a real proper game on our hands. Blue's been doing good things too, and getting killing, killing their rivals and blah blah blah. So, uh, I, I maybe like to imagine that Blue saw the harpies and thought the same thing we did, which is like, let's just leave them there, stay out of each other's way. We'll go and kill Green uh, instead of picking on uh, picking a fight with Red. So that's worked quite nicely. Purple, we didn't see where she went. Maybe if I replay the turn, uh, we could do that. View scenario info. How do I do that? Is this one? So we're looking at purple. What did the purple ship do? Sailed away. So Tiva's not in any immediate danger. We can be cheeky. Grindon's going to take quite a long time to come back. So let's get some scouting done. Can't do that anyway. I can get back in the boat right now, and probably I should. It's probably all my moves. Uh, what spells does she know? Nothing. Okay. I was going to say, I'd love to get the Knoll's Flail. Greater Knoll's Flail. But I'd have to be casting Lightning Bolts at the Dwarves, and I don't even know Lightning Bolt anyway. I think it's okay to just... I don't want to throw her away by galloping in here, desperate to reveal the map. I'd, I'd rather just keep her alive. I think she's more valuable alive than, than dead. It's this weird thing where you've got to sail out from the coast before you can begin sailing, so even though it looks smooth diagonally, it's actually a jutted kind of pattern in terms of uh, where you can land your boat. Right, what did we decide here? The only thing I can think is it's day one, several psychic elementals if I went and got the, if I went and got these troops now, we could try to kill them. And I think yes, right? We can. That's a horde now, but it was only lots. It was lots last turn, so the horde is going to be like sixty or something. Still sixties. Yeah, let's just see what's there. Can I get through? Ooh, I can't without summon boat, which we don't have. Okay, okay. So the dwarfs are going to be out of our reach for a while. Um, yeah, I don't really want to pile money into this solving this problem. Like it's. He goes, give, and then comes back this way. Or maybe it's better for Josephine to do the hard running. So he goes here, and then continues back, and I have another hero that's active again back in the back in the game, so to speak. Tazar is just nowhere to be found. And yeah, so I kind of feel like it's the fortress that we want to pile into because it's the most at risk. That seems like a decent way to go. Uh, so the investment I want to make, I think, is something like lizard men, serpent flies, basilisks. Maybe change them into lizard warriors, because a lizard warrior is quite a lot better than a lizard man. Uh... So I'd have 14 of them, 14 gogs, the dogs, the flies, the basilisks, and then I leave these back at the base to be purchased as needed. Right. That seems pretty good, so let's do that. Let's get the den upgraded. And... So it's kind of this ebb and flow thing where you're trying to figure out do I actually have this town? Have I really got it? Uh, or is it an illusion? Yeah, is it going to be taken off me again? 
Okay. Yeah, let's use some of Fiona's superior scouting abilities to tell us a bit more more about what's going on. Uh, I can always get back to Hermit Cove. Um... Whoa, lots of vampire lords guarding that gate, so Tazar never went that way. I think Tazar might be out on the ocean, sailing around, staring at the stars, wondering how on earth he landed himself in this situation. Look at that scout. Scouting is my new favourite skill. Uh, yep. Okay, I think we're in okay shape here. We don't need to worry about blue crashing through here anytime soon. Um, the soldiers are waiting for us, but yeah, we can make a decision about them later. Let's just earn ourselves another six grand, shall we? Okay, blue has spotted us. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, blue came a fair bit further in than I thought, and the army is... It's possible to defend against this army, right, with what we have. Um... It's also possible to ride out a pack of Grand Elves. Uh, Iona is not no slouch, but I, I do think we can defend behind if we have a castle here and the entire week's worth of troops. Um, our two heroes on standby are out of position. That's our fault, but... Um, I think we can defend. I was going to unlock this, but do I have time? Do I need to worry? 11 demons. Today, tomorrow. Okay, so it's gamble time once again. Do we think we can defend this against Iona with just a castle, a brand new hero, and these troops? Might be tight, right? Seven demons, ten hellhounds, and not much more. But the castle towers are going to annihilate those grand elves. I think it's I think it's doable. Right? Rashka Castle. And everybody. <laughs> and my lesson from last time is to put these guys, you know, a bit closer to the gogs and have the fast, because these, these, these dudes can always redeploy on turn one. Yeah, and if I get the opportunity to build another building tomorrow, I could do something like that to increase my power that's not very interesting oh i've got to buy him a spell book as well it's an easy mistake to make so slow could be relevant he could get to cast something summon boat is here i didn't realize as well and he's a scholar so i could go and teach everyone summon boat we could summon a boat here and go <whistles> hello dwarfies so yeah i look again it's a bit of a gamble if it doesn't work, Iona will take serious losses and she'll have to, you know, be able to defend against a Conflux army coming back this way. So it would be bad, but life could go on. Seven, it looks like a paltry army there, doesn't it, now that I'm looking at it? It's one week's worth of Citadel troops. But her army... There's no Pegasi, there's no, you know, gargoyles or anything to fly over and um, cheapen our gogs, like our gogs. The Arrow Towers shoot first, cause massive casualties to the Grand Elves. The gogs are still going to be there shooting well into the mid-game of that battle. So I think we're okay. So I'm going to gamble on this idea that we are okay. And still do this job anyway. How much do I care about that? Is it better to just... It's 
So I think we should use him to do this. You've got the boots, Josie. They were made for walking. some mana? Do I need to? I might need to to spare the lives of my guys. I think the 11 demons will kill one stack. Speed 4, I'm speed 5. Um, I'm actually just going to stand here with everybody. Mainly because I just don't want to use my brain. Move her up there. Don't really want to lose any of these dudes. I think 12 will kill a demon. I do not. What about in one of these? Two, oh, maybe for 11? No. Now you can attack either of these stacks with my blessing. Oh, you just stand there. Wait, 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 okay, so we take one hit, but we don't lose uh, anyone? Yep, okay, and you guys do nothing, you guys can probably kill that. Do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of jiggery pokery, a bit of mucking around, but we got it done with no spell points or. Okay, so I'll rendezvous with you back up here, man. Several psychic elementals. No, it's too hard, right? Ativa, what are we doing? Running from Grindon is the order of the day. Ooh! Better be careful not to run out of MP. Okay, this is fascinating. Every every uh, starting area has a gold mine. That's so fair. Isn't that interesting? All of our opponents, every single one of us has got a gold mine. You've got a gold mine here, although the, for poor old Tan it's very hard to get to. 
Our gold mine was easy to get to. This gold mine was a piece of cake as well. Orange just didn't get around to it in time. Blue probably unlocked theirs early. And maybe there's a second one here? That's really interesting. It makes me wonder how the RNG works um, with map generation, you know? So there's still no sign of Tazar. This town is mine. I can even do this. I've got time to do that. Okay, the Grail is somewhere. Do this. Is Pyre still... Come to here? How far can I go? I can get easily back there, so... Where is that purple hero? Did you just get in a boat and go away? So even this is an island. I thought that this would at least be connected. You see on the mini-map here, I thought this would be one big landmass, but it's like... We've rolled up a map that has no terra firma on it. And like, I mean, we haven't been underground yet. Who knows, maybe there's a massive network of underground um, that I don't know about. Um, Rashka has time. I can't believe we never got that crystal. That was very silly and lazy of us. Uh, I think they're going to get that now. Um, I certainly don't want to fight in the open against your army, so... Okay, fingers crossed. Can I hold? Will Blue bother? I think what a human opponent would do here is just besiege me, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I would do. Okay, Tazar dies out on the water. So sad. Um, I kind of feel like to this point the AI has... The tan and orange AI have performed so badly. I'm hoping that you guys get a good game out of blue and purple. Um, because I almost feel like I'm scamming the game. Like how I just walked in and took this town off orange. And then Tazar put up no fight. He just said, oh, I see that you'd like to have this town now. I suppose I'll be on my way. I'll just get in a boat and you'll never hear from me again. I'll just go and die quietly somewhere in the corner. It's like, it can't be good entertaining viewing, you know, for you guys watching me just walk it, essentially. So I, I think, though, I'm hoping that um, there will be some really uh, epic action against Blue. And even if it comes down to a 1v1 against Blue, um, I'm hoping that'll still be make, make for good watching anyway. So she still, Fiona, only has two skills. She doesn't have any wisdom. She can find out what that is. I think it makes... What makes most sense for her now? Lots of vampire lords. <sighs> if they're split, you can't blind undead, so yeah. I don't think I want to fight them quite yet. I'm tempted to get another hero here. Yeah, blue actually can run right the way through our entire um, empire here. But while she's doing it, I can be investing. Um, now, what's something that I could invest in that I'd be happy to buy? Okay, so I think something like a hellhole is fine. You can't get devils without it. And it doesn't chew up any resources. I feel like the HP of the Pit Fiends are a better investment for the strategic situation that we find ourselves in. See, this big pit gets opened up in the middle of the Inferno. And uh, we'll buy these boys as they are. It's more meat. Um, they're basically just like a demon, but uh, they deal more damage and they have more HP. Not much <laughs> difference really between the two. 35, 7 to 9. And these are 45, uh, 13 to 17. So they deal tons more damage. Um, and they offer a, a body to stand there and not die while the arrow towers are shooting. So in a siege, I think these, are, these guys are okay. Rapture, though, still can't ride out, I don't think. And you can see that that fight is just... Ugh. It's the few Nag... They're Naga Queens, those things. And if she's got... A few could be up to, I think, four. If she's got four Naga Queens, I'm just going to be so sad. I've got to fight them with Rashka, who's like a brand new hero, who knows... Has no experience on the battlefield. He knows these spells, like... It's just not good, right? 
it would be nice to have those troops for the siege uh, if and when the siege happens but uh, yeah so this is a tough decision so we'll come back to this we'll scout uh, our way along the purple coast a little further ah, I think mermaids are always good so let's just go get them yeah luck luck be with you Okay, um, Fiona. So I don't need to come this way, I can go this way with her. Um, it said Horde of Gremlins. If they have Masters, I'll be a bit annoyed, so I'm actually going to not pursue Forgetfulness. Turns out that Forgetfulness is a, one of the best spells ever. Whoa. Oh, it's all a rich tapestry. Here we are. So, yeah, Teva. So all Pyre did is run back into uh, her home area. It might be her home area, I don't know. If castle... What did she have? She had tons of royal griffins, so there's a good chance that there's a castle here that Purple is sitting on. And it's just a matter of time before someone conquers it. Yeah, okay, so I like this, and if Fiona gets a day off, she can do these two things. Rashka stays put, he's under siege. I could let her do that for me, I don't really need to worry about them. Axis is going to... He could buy this, and then come back down. I'm not going to have them in enough numbers for it to matter, so I'm just not going to worry. Uh, maybe Josephine could give you the boots before you. Maybe I should. Get... I'll keep the boots actually, and I'll give them to. Um... I'll keep the boots and I'll give them to Fiona. How's that sound? Yeah, let's do it this way. I'll keep the boots. Give me the Inferno. Um, I'm safe from harm just with this one guy. I'm heading up this way. Fiona can get to here, but I don't really want to use Fiona. Like, I want Josephine to do the running. So if she stood here... Gallop to there. Axis is going to be about here. Hiding from blue. You'll be safe on that square, I think. Yeah, I think without the boots... Well, with the boots... See, the boots dictate your movement at the start of the turn. So let's say she offloads the boots to... Fiona. Does she lose the movement? I don't know how that works. The boots of speed increase your movement rate, but then if you give them off, I think you lose the, the bonus. So let's say she has to start from the gate. Gallop, 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 without the boots. Down here. That's doable. So I won't move off the gate in that case. Alright, so we're staying put. I'm staying put to defend. I've invested in the Inferno. I've moved my Mermaid Witch who now is coming full circle and joining up with the team again. Um, yeah, so the question is, what do you want to do, Iona?
Oh, there's only two. Iona, what are you doing? Two spell points. Uh, at the risk of, well, this could be me just sounding uber arrogant, but I just think the AI's decision making uh, has been poor, right? This army needs to crash through these walls urgently. And Blue was not in a desperate situation. Blue is just exploring. Like, why throw your army away? Am I being arrogant? Maybe, but you don't know. You don't know me. That's an extremely optimistic attack, right? Shield and slow and dispel. Well, dispel won't be relevant. So it's shield and slow, and we have to wait until we're in base contact before that matters. So we've already killed six Grand Elves before the game even starts, and there's only four left. Um, so yeah, let's just keep an eye on whether... Who knows, I was going to say Expert Ballistics, but no, they don't have Expert Ballistics. There's no justification for this attack. How good are Grand Elves? Man, four of them! Still killed a Gog. Uh, we'll just do this out of discipline, I suppose. Hide up this end. I mean, obviously, if these troops could access us now, the fight would be you know, very, very scary. Uh, but they can't. In fact, you know the way I've configured this? I think I want to put my screening units to the south, actually. The golems will take a while to chew through, and the Ents as well. I mean, it's not... Yeah... I'll just... I've only got 12 shots, so I'll make the most of them. Hey, who knows, maybe it's not a gimme. But it, to me, it looks like an absolute... lost cause for them. Like, how are you going to win this? Maybe it's not. Maybe... Maybe they're stronger than I realise. Um, just come here, you've got huge moves, yeah. So if that had hit the gate, actually, I, I, I probably would be going on to lose. Um... Yeah, I probably should have, with the Gogs, I probably should have been shooting... Well, I wouldn't have been doing much damage with them anyway. So what I'm proposing is getting these guys out of here. They're going to be more valuable to me, valuable to me as... Um, as uh, screening units. Got to be really careful. If you stand on that hex there, it opens the gate. Um, that would be bad. Yeah, so just keep getting the biggest value shots off and yeah okay so now the tower works those boys over the tower never runs out of ammo either okay so there is now a way through but based on what happened last time I predict I did this last time, I put an imp here and they didn't bother attacking it. See what they do this time. Yeah. No, they're not moving on to it. I think it, the sooner we try to kill that stack, the better. If, oh, they are! Um, okay, so if they don't kill the imp, the iron golem kills the imp, and I just put another imp there. Yeah, so they, they're not going to be there. Intelligent tower? 
Yeah, wow, look at this. This is incredible. Um, centaurs don't want to step on the lava because they'll just die. 90 damage kills the whole stack, right? So, okay, the AI just didn't want to commit suicide with its small stacks. Uh, but watch this. I just die on this square. Excellent. Why is Iona doing this? I don't understand. Like, it was never on. Stand and deliver here? Or I could use the dogs? This is my idea from before, yeah. Go dogs, dogs again. And if I could go dogs, then dogs run away. Yeah, just do nothing. We use the dogs because we get no retaliation. I mean... Can we just kill them? And the Nagas aren't moving. Wow. Just incredible. Are you even going to flee? Surely she flees. Let's get started on these tree men, guys. Um, you show up to my front door with a mediocre army, no knowledge of siege warfare, and no spell points. And now you're just now you're actually gonna die in front of the walls. The Ent isn't gonna get another turn. Is he? Or maybe he just barely will. I should have moved these guys into position. I could have But as things stand, it's up to them. She's just gonna flee now. Yeah. Look at look at the damage I took. Oh man. Iona. This just feels like it's meant to be, from a flavour perspective, after what Rashka just achieved. Rashka? What Rashka just achieved, basic armourer, I think suits him just fine. The purple sailor is back, that's good. Okay. Excellent! Excellent. Each major conflict that we've been involved in, we've come out... Uh, the winner on each t on each occasion. Now, is there an even angrier hero on their way down here? <laughs> Quite possibly. I really like taking this chance, uh, this opportunity to rebalance our forces. Uh, so I think we're going to be doing that. I just want to see. We'll do some exploring with her first. Mm. I think you get extra moves here. Confirming you're on course and increasing their morale, okay. Alright, let's keep exploring this area. It's probably just a littering of different uninhabitable Galapagos style uh, islands. What are we doing? Now that we've held, it's day four, these haven't been summoned yet, the demons. We could visit the stockpile. Uh, we could start thinking about that. Um, what to do now? 